Thursday, I think. And today I'm going to London, so I'm going to be bringing you with me for the journey. In like an hour, we've got like an hour and a half long train journey. And then we're going to get there. We're going to go do some shopping at Westfield in Stratford. And then head into Central. And I don't know what we're doing. My dad said we might go see like Greenwich meantime. Something like that. So yeah. <laughs> This is so awkward doing this in public, I actually can't, but we made it to Westfield um, at Stratford and we're gonna, I'm, well, I'm going to do a little bit of shopping whilst um, my dad and my brother suffer. <laughs> so yeah, let's go on with that. Hi everyone, I am in Stradivarius right now. So let's have a little look for some hopes. So we got out of Stradivarius, I didn't really see anything in there that I really liked. But we're in Pullen Bear now, and I don't think there's anything here either. We are in Bush Canal because there's nothing in Pullen Bear. It is like really cute in here, but again, it's like a bit more expensive um, than other shops at normal. So I'm still gonna browse, still gonna look. Righty, Kevin's hating this so much. I am like really frugal with my money. I don't like spending it at all. So shopping's not always good for me because I never get anything that I like. But there's been nothing great so far. So, I think we're heading, looking for H&M and Zara. So right now I am in Zara and I'm having a look around and I don't think there's much in here but I am such a fussy person that, I don't know, everything's just like overwhelming when I go shopping. Um, yeah. Um, the music's really loud in here, we're in New Look. I just bought a top at H&M, it's just like a little blue top for summer. Um, so I'm going... I'm going in New Look to look at a cargo skirt that I saw when I went here last time. I'll show you it in a second. I'm going to go try on the cargo skirts. They're like really cute. It's for like holiday or just chilling, you know. Uh, I'm just looking around because it actually is pretty good in here. It's the biggest 915 generation section I've seen for like ages. Um, yeah. So I've got the, I, we're trying to find the fitting rooms because I'm really sorry about the camera. I can't really do much about it. Downstairs. Okay, we have to go round. Um, I'm trying to try on this stuff and there's a dress as well. Okay, I tried on both the cargo shorts, they're both too short. Now I'm trying on this dress. I think it's really cute, I think I'm gonna get it. Um, Cause this one fits, but my dad's gone to get a smaller size in this. I forgot to film, but I got the um, dress and the skirt and new look and now we're going to Primark. Okay, I'm really hot, so I've taken off my hoodie, but there's like a bikini that I'm gonna get here. And, um, I'm in Primark right now, by the way, I forgot to say that. Um, yeah, we got like a few bits and bobs in New Look, and I've got my bag here for that. We are just leaving Westfield now, and we're going to get on the DLR, which is the Driverless Railway, but that's not what it stands for. <laughs> it's, it's got like no drivers, I don't even know. We're going into central London now, I think, and I've got all my stuff here. Really excited. There's someone sat there. Oh. We're at the front. Yeah, we're at the front of the driverless train. train we're waiting on the platform now it's the same station canning town we're waiting for another train to come and get us and he said we're gonna go get food get some lunch i'm excited a magical wish food tour what is it gonna be Big plane, actual car. My dad just said that we 
we're going across the cable cars that go by the O2. I don't want to. <laughs> it's quite scary. scary. I'll show you in a second. <laughs> we're gonna be up there in a minute. Just got our tickets and because Callum's autistic we get to skip the queue. I, I don't know why that works but but it does so I'm actually really nervous because it seems really scary but I feel like I'm gonna enjoy it when I'm on it. Basically, he's skipping the queues because of my brother. This is crazy. There you go, guys. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. The doors are closing and we are stuck in this. The lighting's going to be really bad because there's windows everywhere, but like, we are stuck in this little queue going above. Is it the River Thames? The River Thames. And we have it all to ourselves because of my brother who's autistic. And. You know? Wait, can I sit? Is it better to sit this one? Because I can sit. Yeah, well, it's better to sit the way we're going. It's better to sit the way we're going. Oh, this is actually kind of relaxing. It's not even scary at all. See how oh. gentle it feels. Oh, this is actually really nice. <laughs> come on, be real. Be real. Come right now. <laughs> Canary Wolf over there. Oh my gosh, look, there's the O2, guys. Canary Wolf is Where's over. Oh look, you can see the gherkin over there. I don't know if you can because the camera quality is not great. Gherkin? Yeah, it's like the name of the thing. Oh my god, this is actually really nice. Start dance! Don't dance around. Only because it will worry your brother. It's not worrying. This is so cool. Look at that. It's that sewage plant that they were on about in that TV show because it looks like it. Oh my god, this is so cool. I don't know why I was scared. I love this. That was a flying boat. Uber boat. Flying boat. <laughs> this is actually so cool. I'm going to get a picture of you with a... I actually love this. Bro's, <laughs> bro's petrified. <laughs> that was actually really cool. Um, we saved money and time because of my brother. So thank God he's autistic. Uh, <laughs> we're just about to find somewhere to eat outside the O2. And... I think it's gonna be like food. Hey, let's eat a Tesco Express. We're not getting Tesco Express meal deal. We're inside the OT right now looking for somewhere to grab a little bite to eat. And I'm actually, I'm having such a good day. It's been so great, hasn't it? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we have decided that we are going to be going to Frank and Benny's and if they're like full, then we'll go to Teach Eye Fridays for some lunch, like our main meal of the day. Um, I'm actually going to show you what I got. It's really loud so I might have to shout a little bit but we're in Frankie and Benny's and I've got my little kids menu. I love, I, I don't have a big appetite so this will do me. So wait for the, we'll, we'll order and I'll show you what I got. I haven't got mac and cheese, I've got a burger and my dad's got some like chicken pasta curry. I don't even know. We decided to get some dessert so I have a brownie. Jelly. My dad has a giant like waffle thing. There's lots of music, but I just finished my food and just went to the toilet and I'm waiting for my dad and my brother to come out of the loop. And then we're gonna head over on the tube. Okay, we are in the Jubilee line. I don't know what station we're in, I really don't care. Something in Greenwich, I think. Are we where are we going? Canary Wharf. Canary Wharf. So we're going one station one station and it's got these funky things so yeah we'll see you on the train next there's an Amazon Fresh shop which I've not seen before and there's just like some water here I don't know I think we're going to Canary Wharf just walking around Canary Wharf there's like some fancy river thing down there it's the vibe of around here is very um modern business people fancy and now we're heading to the Elizabeth line to get a train on the Elizabeth line so we haven't done that yet today we've done what have we done we've done Jubilee DLR that's it Okay, and now we're doing Elizabeth. 
gosh, everything's just so big, I'm not used to it, like look. Brother lost his ticket, so we have to get him another one. Is it approaching? Where is it approaching? I hear it. Where is it approaching? Where is it? <laughs> Got jump scared. We're recording, but we're in Old London now. We want to go that way. We're going this way. Into Old London. Into Old London. Um, it's yeah. Um, I don't know. We just got a train. I don't think I recorded it. I can't remember to be honest. But yeah, we're getting a lot of trains today. Update. That's the shard. And over there, there's Tower Bridge and my dad. <laughs> I'll show you Tower Bridge. So we've got Tower Bridge, HMS Belfast, the Shard. What else is interesting here? Uh, Nothing. Brother's seemingly desperate to go up Tower Bridge and go across it, so we're doing that. We've been walking for like half an hour just round London doing nothing. Yeah. But here we are. Go on, Kevin. Because when you get up, you're on the bridge. now and I was trying to get my phone out of my pocket and then my button popped off and I don't know where it went so I've lost my button on Tower Bridge. If someone finds it please return it to me. I, I would literally pay you to have my popper back. It is a silver um, it's, it's a silver popper and it's on Tower Bridge somewhere so please find it and return it to me. Um, yes. Yeah. Anyway we're going to get a train to get to St Pancras because at seven o'clock we got a train to get back and it's like five now but like we don't want to be late. Time to get a train. Oh, there's a train. There's trains everywhere. Ah, there's bikes everywhere. Ah, I'm crossing a road. I really don't want my phone to get stolen. I'm holding it in two hands. Uh, London is not the place for me. It's busy, it's loud, it's so chaotic. And everything's so far away. We're heading to a train station. Complaining sort of fear hurting, but the underground's just there. I can't walk anymore. Slow down, hold on tight now. It's okay to meet me at the front line. Cold feet. I don't like it on the ground, it's really loud and noisy and horrible. It's like nice. I don't know how to explain it. It feels like old station vibes. I was meant to meet you at your mom's house, so I apologize. Of the um, little voice operators, it must be such a fun job. You just get to say the same things over and over again. I need to get out my ticket again, so do I not? Ah! Hooray! Gosh, in London, everyone's always in a hurry. For what? This is. St Pancras, not St Pancreas like I thought before and I was like why is there a saint named after you an organ in your body but there's not, it's St Pancras and I don't know why I'm saying all this because I have nothing to say. We're going to sit next to the canal in the sun for an hour just like whilst we um, wait for time to pass. I don't know, it'll be nice hopefully. Quarters, but we are not queuing up. I'll show you the queue. That's the queue of all the people, and that's that's it. There, it's like I don't know, a little trolley. Pathetic. Oh my goodness, I have never felt so exhausted. Actually, that's a lie. I probably have, but I am really tired. 
and we're in St Pancras right now. Um, sorry, I'm going to talk here just so that you can hear me. I'm in some, we're in St Pancras and like we're literally just getting a bottle of water from the jet for the journey home, and then we're going to go try and find my mum. I think at the platform that we're meant to be at for our train, um, and we're looking for my mother. I have the worst headache of my life. London's such a headache-inducing place. But I'm waiting for the train and my mum. We're gonna get on the train as soon as possible because it's turning up in three minutes, but leaving in like an hour. <laughs> the other half of our train is gonna connect up. I don't know if you can see. Oh, you can't see, but the other side of the um, train like flaps up and then they connect together. I never really filmed an outro for this video and I realised it's a little bit weird if there's no outro, it just sort of ends. So thanks for watching. Um, I was so dead tired when we got home. We got home at like nine or half nine or something. And I just couldn't be bothered to film. I just wanted to go to sleep. I was exhausted. But we, it's like the next day, it's midday. I'm editing and I'm really sorry that again that this is going to be an upload on a Friday, not a Thursday. I genuinely couldn't have done anything about that. That headache that I had yesterday was so bad. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm dragging this out. Love you loads. See you in the next Thursday.